John Lives. Hey friends, thanks so much for joining my live stream today. I'm John, Jesus' disciple. And I've got more thoughts to share with you, my dear friends, the church. In my last video, I talked about how what we say and do matters. We can choose to live God's way, which is obedience, or choose to live our own way, which is sin. Today, I wanna to spend a little more time talking about obedience, because that's something that a lot of people get confused about. Why do we obey God? I got a little tug. <laughs> We obey God so he will love us more. No, that's not right. God already loves us, and his love doesn't change. Back you go. I think I got another one. <laughs> we obey God so he won't get mad at us. Nope, God's already forgiven us because of what Jesus did for us. Go back. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> We obey God so we can feel proud of ourselves for being awesome. What? No! We're sinners. When we were stuck in our disobedience and sin, God saved us. Not because we're awesome, but because he's so awesome. Get out of here. Ready? Here it is. We obey God because we love him. In fact, that's what it means to love God. We love him by obeying his commands. You see, love isn't just a fuzzy feeling in your heart. Love means taking action. Here's a little verse you may have heard before. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. <laughs> I wrote that. But did you catch that? God loved us so much that he gave. He loved us. So he did something about it. He sent Jesus for us. He took action. Because God loves us so much, even when we turned away from him, we don't have to be worried about trying to earn his love or be afraid that we're not good enough. We can obey God just because we love him. In fact, Jesus said that loving God is the greatest and most important thing we should do. And the second most important thing is to love others. Now remember friends, we don't just want to be talking about loving others. We want to take action. Action, 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 action. So let's think about this. I've got some examples. I'll ask you some questions and you just yell out the answers, okay? Ready? Here we go. If someone is hungry, what do you do? Feed them. Hello. Give them something to eat. Yeah, you take action and feed them. Take action! What if you know somebody who's sad or lonely? You can encourage them. What a Maybe just be with them and listen if they want to talk. If somebody's sad, you take action. Action, 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 action! And you encourage them, and then you eat some tacos together. If you see somebody getting treated unkindly or unfairly, what should you do? Say something. Get up with them, then we'll get tacos together. You could ask them what you can do to help. Yeah, you take action. You stand up for what is right. Eat some tacos. I think you've got it. There's just one final thought I want to leave you with, and this is it. We can love God and others because God loved us first. Well, thanks so much for joining me today, dear friends. Want to learn more? Check it out for yourself in the book of 1 John. Peace! <laughs> Let's take a look at that verse. Dear children, don't just talk about love. Put your love into action. Then it will truly be love. Well now, ain't that the truth? If you say you love somebody, but then you don't show them with your actions, it's not really love, is it? Actions are a great way to show that we love someone. Like last week, I was feeling a little blue. My daughter Gloria, she made me my most favorite dessert, banana bread pie, and it really lifted my spirits and my cholesterol too. But that's a different story altogether. Anyways, I could tell that Gloria did that because she loves me. And I guess that's what John was saying about obeying God too. You know, we don't obey God to make him love us or to make ourselves seem really good or so we don't get into trouble. No, <laughs> we obey God because it's a way to say, I love you back to him. And when we love the people around us, 
people God made and who are so precious to him. That's another way we love him. So let's take a look at the next verse. In fact, here's what it means to love God. We love him by obeying his commands and his commands are not hard to obey. That's because everyone who is a child of God has won the battle over the world. Our faith has won the battle for us. Who is it has won the battle over the world? Only the person who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. It's like what we've just said. Obeying God is how we show we love Him. And sometimes choosing the right thing, it does feel like a battle, doesn't it? But I guess what John's saying is that because we're God's children and He loves us, He's already won the battle for us. When we put our trust in Jesus, He gives us the power to obey. We don't have to be stuck making hurtful choices. Jesus will help us do what's right. So what we do and say as we follow God, it really does matter. It's because it's how we love Him. Say this with me, what I say and do matters. That's right. Well, I don't know about you, I have loved tuning into John's live stream. <laughs> Hold on a second, I just got a notification. You guys ready to go fishing? Who brought the worms? <laughs> I do, I do. Don't worry, John. I got enough worms for the both of us. That's right. I'll catch you guys later. We'll see you. Bye. John Livestream.